Assalamu alaikum what's happening guys welcome to doctor technology today what i have with me is the htc explorer now this is a popularly requested device that is why i am reviewing this although it is an old device it was launched in october 2011 but it is still going very good because of some of its specifications we have adreno 200 gpu in this device so that does help the processor a lot but the drawback of this device is that it has a 90 mb of uh, internal storage now i don't know why htc did that but this is what we get and the good thing it has a 512 mb of rom and 512 mb of ram so uh, that is something good it has a 3.2 uh, inch screen that is measured diagonally 320 into 480 pixels 180 ppi pixel density 256k colors and a tft capacitive touch screen also one added feature that it has srs sound surround sound enhancement so uh, that is something cool and it has a 3.15 megapixel camera which also does video at 480p and no secondary camera so uh, this is what we get let's see the box now this is a small kind of box you can see uh, these are the type of boxes we get with all HTC devices now uh, this guys is made in uh, taiwan and uh, some people have been asking me but i have not seen a device that is made in uh, taiwan and it has 150 uh, mb of internal storage that is not just not happening maybe you guys have encountered a copy of htc so uh, i don't know uh, that i haven't seen that so uh, let's get inside uh, the packaging over here now uh, the packaging is already open to so very sad enough my knife won't be coming uh, handy this time okay so uh, here we have uh, the box let's just go into this so this is the uh, simple packaging and as you can see first and foremost here i have the htc explorer now uh, i'm sorry i did forget to mention the price of this device it costs about 12000 rupees in the market the new one costs 12000 rupees uh pakistani rupees that is so uh, this is the device you can see we have a very beautiful htc written over here and uh, the device looks very beautiful very cute in the hand and uh, very handsomely made uh, so let's see the other uh, contents of the box and uh, i'll just get back to this okay so we have a couple of accessories inside the box let's uh, jump into those now uh, here i have a htc uh, battery pack you can see over here it says that it is 1230 mAh battery pack so here we have the data cable and as you can see this is the standard usb to the micro usb uh, data cable that is also used for charging and data syncing at the same time other than that inside the box we have the headset as you can see these are the htc innovation headsets uh, that we get with the with inside the box we have a 3.5 mm audio jack that is not gold plated other than that you can see over here that we have a call start and call end button and also music controls over here and we also have the htc tag over here now i'm not sure if these are the original ones or uh, the copied ones because i have heard that htc does not add headsets into this device the standard htc charging brick over here so guys this is everything from the box okay guys so here we have the htc explorer a very very popular device among the young generation uh, now here is the screen 3.2 inch screen htc logo over here the uh, speaker grill over here we have some touch capacitive buttons over here 
now this one is the home button this is the menu button back button and the search button over here here you can see we have two volume rockers now uh, this back cover is entirely made of uh, some rubber material but very good rubber material so i am really very happy with this uh, back of this device so here are the uh, volume rockers our uh, 3.15 megapixel camera with a HTC logo over here and this brushed aluminium back uh, just decoration over here we have the speaker phone over here uh, other than that we have the power on and off button which is also the screen lock and unlock button over here and here we have the 3.5 mm audio jack looking over here we have the uh, data syncing port which is also the charging port and uh, we also have a charm connecting port over here so that is everything pretty much about the uh, hardware of uh, this device it looks very brilliant in the hand i uh, do like the grip of the device and i really really love uh, this back panel of this uh, device very grippy so here we have uh, the back panel and as you can see the entire back panel actually covers the device so uh, the size of the device is also covered with this back rubber back looking at the device you can see here we have the sim card slot and uh, this is pretty much it we have the micro sd card slot over here so you can see over here that we get a 2 gb memory card with this device okay so here we have the device all powered on uh, here we have the ring for unlocking the device and here you can see a very beautiful animation running over there here we have the screens now uh, they do have the pinch feature to see all the screens at the same place so uh, these are the seven screens we can actually play with uh, and you can see we have them over here the phone looks very smooth right now okay so here you can see I also have the drop down menu and I have the notifications over here the time and date given over here now this is actually showing that it is connected to my Wi-Fi and this here is the sim signals um, over here I have the quick setting so as you can see it is showing my Wi-Fi over here and some very quick uh, toggles right over here and we can also click here to jump right into the settings and we can uh, customize things right from here. Other than that uh, this is pretty much it and all the recently used applications land up over here. If we long press the screen we are going to get uh, these options to add widgets over here add an application add shortcuts and we can also add folders and you can see we have all these different kind of uh, shortcuts we also have widgets uh, many widgets we can add over here just like this or we can just pick it up and uh, remove it that's pretty much it uh, we also have the display settings and now we have the HTC Sun settings and we can also download more uh, we have the wallpaper settings over here now this, these as you can see we also have the live wallpaper option uh, we also have the lock screen option over here we can add uh, we can choose all the shortcuts that we can put on the lock screen so HTC devices are also always very customizable we have the sound options over here and we can change them or uh, just use them uh, right from here we have uh, the application drawer over here and uh, here you can see we have all the applications now do remember that these are not all the applications that you are going to get out of the box I have had a hands on with this device and uh, I have downloaded some things over here like you can see I have downloaded Angry Birds Fruit Ninja and this uh, download manager then I have downloaded Temple Run, Whatsapp, Skype these I have downloaded so these are not gonna come out of the box you have to download them from the play store so let's just jump into the play store and see uh, what we get over here so uh, this is the play store it is very simple to search things over here people have been asking me how to do it so I'm just gonna let you know 
uh, just click over here it's gonna show the search menu just type something over here whatever you want to search and hit the enter button here is the enter button and it's gonna show everything uh, over here so now uh, this is actually how the uh, new messages are displayed and uh, we can just reply to these now this is the uh, phone keypad that I am using right now but we can also have other keypads over here what you have to do is just go into settings then go into language and keyboard input touch input and go into keyboard types we also have the standard keyboard uh, let's just look into that compose message this is the standard keyboard that you will be getting with this device and when you turn the phone around you're gonna get a landscape type keyboard over here so the keyboard is very easy to type on the screen is not very small here we have the compact keypad uh, which is somewhat difficult to use here we have the camera which is looking very very uh, nice the screen looks very nice let's just take a photograph over here so uh, let's just click although it is not auto focus but still the camera looks pretty nice i will be uploading uh, some uh, sample shots so be sure to check that out here we have the zoom feature as you can see so this is actually the gallery uh, pinch to zoom and everything works fine okay so here we do have the camera option over here the video camera option over here also so i am gonna upload sample videos and sample images so uh, be sure to check that out so uh, this is pretty much it let's just go into the phone dialer so let's just call and quickly show you how the loudspeaker performs So the loudspeaker seems pretty loud and uh, I am pretty happy with that. So this is actually this small little demo of this device. So guys, I am pretty happy with this device. I have used it for a few hours and um, the only error that I got in these few hours is insufficient memory. Uh, so this is a big problem, the 90 MB uh, storage, internal storage. Other than that, this is a brilliant device. I do like the grip of the device. I do like the way it feels, uh, the way it performs very, very smooth and looks very cute in the hand and is very affordable also. But I will be giving a full review of this device. So be sure to check that out. Uh, if you have any questions and queries, please feel free to ask. Please do subscribe to my channel. Please do like my Facebook page. And I will see you in my next video. Till then stay cool and stay happy.